Now to a News 4 exclusive. A 69-year-old man targeted by two muggers riding around the city on a moped. And tonight, police say it's part of a much larger crime spree. We told you about this robbery pattern yesterday at 5. And tonight, police tell us the same duo is now linked to 33 crimes across the city. And they say they even tried to rob four people on the same block in just minutes. One of those victims, a man with a cane who is just days away from turning 70 years old. News 4's Mark Santia joins us live from Inwood with that man's terrifying account of what happened, Mark. Raina, they have attacked young and old, women and men. They robbed four people on Arden Street, and you're about to meet their first victim. At 69 years old, Carlos is forced to use a cane. Two recent strokes robbed him of his mobility, but it was these men who robbed him of much more. When the light came, I tried to cross. The, the people uh, said, hey, Santique, I feel something in my neck. And he said, hey, me levantó la pistola. Wait, you saw him have, you saw the gun? Yeah, I saw the gun. This video shows Carlos heading to Fort Tryon Park for some fresh air on Saturday when the robbers drive up, point a gun at him, and say, Hey, don't, don't see my face. <laughs> Are you the boss? <laughs> they gently unclasp his gold chain and crucifix, then speed off, robbing three more people on Arden Street, including this man near Nagel Avenue. <laughs> The same robbers are believed to be connected to attacks in Queens, the Bronx, and Manhattan. As of right now, there's at least 33 robberies involved in this pattern. NYPD Chief of Detectives James Essig. The, the, these guys are vicious, vicious robbers out there, and they're getting progressively worse and more violent as you go along. The chief says his detectives have been analyzing video, photographs, and talking to witnesses in their search to find these robbers on wheels. These two just hit four times in a matter of a half hour, and they're doing multiple hits, and then uh, disappearing for three or four days, and then hitting another borough. Chief Essig also has a message for you. The people out in the street should be cognizant. They're, they're targeting people with jewelry around their necks. So they're riding up the street. If you see them, very brazen. Back in Inwood, Carlos asked we not show his face because these robbers took more than a chain. They took his peace of mind. It's very important. Like any people, you can stay in the tree. Rana, as you can see, the robbers are wearing masks. So the police reaching out to the community, asking for folks to step forward with information. You can remain anonymous. A reward is being offered. We're live in Inwood tonight. I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York.